Van life sucks sometimes, and here are the downsides, part one. Number one, living in a small space with a partner can be stressful, especially when you just want alone time. Number two, after a long driving day when all you want to do is sleep, sometimes it can take forever to find a parking space for the night, and you're driving around tired and hungry for ages. Number three, van troubles and maintenance are inevitable, and when your van breaks down, it feels like your whole life does too. Chores like laundry, filling up water, showering, dumping your own waste, and filling up gas are all done outside of your home, and you have to factor them into your routine. And number five, at first it can be lonely and hard to find friends. You will see all of these other people online with travel circles and it feels impossible to find one for yourself. And number six, social stigmas do exist and some people will hate you just for living differently. You'll get negative comments and complaints and there will be judgments that you have to live with. Living nomadically, like any way of living, has its pros and cons, but this is why 